Hello, this is Claudia from Farmeta DS and this video is quite improvised because I just saw an email from Elementor Pro which is the tool that I use when I'm designing websites. I actually switched not long ago to this tool and I'm loving it so much and they just sent an email with the releases that they just added to the Pro version which is the one I have and I don't know, I had so much fun with it that I decided to do this video. So this is what I've been using. They call it the hotspot. So you can add images with these dots that when you click, then you can add a text. And I even tried and you can also add a link. So look what I did here. These are my clipboards. So I just say I also paint these and I sell them in my clipboard store. Click to see more. So when you click, you go directly to the product on Creative Market. So this was super fun. I added some more down here on my about image. I welcome you to visit my my website if you want to see what I say here. It's it's very fun. I think it's very it's a great way to interact with your visitors. So on the back end, this is how it looks when you go to edit with Elementor. If you are not familiar with this plugin, it's super super easy to use. It's very visual. You can do like everything in drag and drop. They have here always all the options that you can use and it's very quick to understand and to use even if it's the first time that you use WordPress, which it's how I design websites with WordPress. Um, so let's see. We go here inside and as you can see, you can choose the image and then you go to the hotspot and you can even add some labels. I did not add it because I wanted it to be like a surprise, but we could say click me or yeah, click me. And then instead of the dot, you would see the text, but I preferred it without, and you can directly have a link. So instead of, if you add a link, I tried. And when you add here a link, let's just take this one. When you add here the link, then it doesn't ap appear the text. So I preferred to add it like that so we can see here what i did it's it's the second one it's this one so i added here the text and i just went to the html and no i i didn't actually went to the html i just clicked and added the link here so it was pretty easy to edit to create um you can move the position of the hotspot with this so very easy. You can customize it and you can um, also have some options. So it can you can decide if you want it to go bottom, right, etc. If you want it to display when it clicks or, or when it's uh, passed over. I prefer it when it clicks because then it stays open and you can click again on the link. Um, and then you can go here on style and under hotspot you can decide which color you want it to display in i'm just using my corporate yellow you can choose the typography the background of the box everything it's it's really amazing um yeah here it's where you edit the text itself so you can decide that which color the text you wanted the background color uh yeah as you can see i'm having so much fun and i did this video to show you so yeah um if you have elementor pro don't hesitate to try it you can download it i i struggled a little bit to find out how to download the latest version you had to log into elementor pro and then you have a click that you have a section to download but if you don't have elementor and you are thinking to switch from your theme or your plugin, I really encourage you to switch to Elementor. This is what I did months ago. And yeah, I actually was planning to do another video comparing the two plugins, the, the old one with this new one. So probably I will do this in the future. But today I got very excited and I wanted to share this with you. So I hope you find this useful. I'll leave the links for Elementor Pro on the description and the link to my website too, so you can play around with it. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. I'll see you around. Bye.